good morning. You've tuned in to No Sight, No Problem. Today we are on location and we are installing a ram that has been rebuilt on a Heister 60 forklift. This in my hand is called a snap ring. You can see there's got a gap there. There's a little hole there and a little hole right there. And there's a special pair of pliers that have, I guess you could say nipples on them and you spread it apart i don't know if you guys can see this on film but there's a pin i'm holding in my hand and there's a groove on either end and that snap ring sits in that groove and that's what keeps the pins from coming out you can see the one i just put on there that's what it looks like when it's on the actual pin itself okay all right now put this back in this ram so this in my hand is what a ram looks like and this is what picks the forks up and down. And for my blind viewers, forklifts are used for lots of applications in warehouses, um, marinas, factories. They're used, used for picking up very heavy items to load them on a truck or on pallets and stores. Anyways, this ram was leaking. So when you want to lift the mast up, um, it would just fall right back down. This ram has two lines in the bottom, hydraulic in and out. And we are now going to install it. Where was it leaking from? From right here. There's a packing seal. When they go bad, they leak right there and it won't keep pressure on the ram. Okay. Very same thing they use on plows and forklifts and dump boxes. All kinds of fun stuff. So this has to come in through here. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Looks like one of those things you have to get just so to get in the, yes. the spot that it fits in. Yep. We're going to install this pin right here that I'm holding in my hand. It's just a roll. It's just a round pin and it has a snap ring on either end. And that's what secures the ram to this particular piece of equipment. Come over here. And we will put that. There we go. So it's seated all the way. And then we'll come over here we get this pin here. It's got a snap ring on one side already, as you guys can see, not on the other one. And then we'll install it over on this side. So the snap ring side is facing out so that it will slide into that yep, to the hole. hole. Yep, and now we gotta kinda have to fight with it a little bit because <clears throat> okay try this again now so as you can see the pins are in i'll step back so you can see the ram is installed now just like so, so now i'm going to hook up the hydraulic lines All right. Oh, that just went on way too nicely. The force was with me on that one. <laughs> you had a cap on there or something then? Yeah, they, they put them on it the, when they rebuild them at the factory. Okay. They put on to keep the fluid in there. And your lines, as you put them on, you should not have to force anything. Everything should screw together nicely. If you start forcing stuff, you're going to strip out fittings. Get yourself in a bunch of trouble. There we go. So as you can see, those lines screw down quite nicely. We will use a 19 millimeter open end wrench to tighten those two lines up. I'll do this one here first. I want to thank everybody who watches the channel and follows me. I appreciate all of you guys. I always hope, hope to inspire people and show them that, hey, just because some of us may have a handicapped or an infliction or whatever you guys want to call it, um, does not mean you can't pursue your passions in life 
you just want those lines kind of hand tight they don't need to be over cranked or again you'll strip fittings we're moving on to the second hydraulic line now I like working out in the field actually it gets me out of the shop and so I don't mind don't mind being in the field really okay and that is on I'll step back so my lovely assistant Heidi can show you the ram with the lines on there's one and on the other side there's number two nicely installed So the ram is hooked up, let's go ahead, I'm going to lift the seat up, I'm going to hook up the battery and uh, turn on the propane and see if this thing starts and uh, see what the hell happens. Alright, so we'll lift this up here, if you want to get a shot down in there, there's not a lot of room to work with. but No, it's pretty dark in there too by the way, which I guess it's a good thing you can't see. I suppose, see. Because it helps you out. Don't need a lot of light in this time. <laughs> Alright, let's hook up this battery. Hook up the positive cable. When I took off the ram, I uh, undid the positive cable. He's had some alternator issues in the past. And I always try to err on the side of safety. Because you never know. Especially on customer's equipment, you know. You try to really go above and beyond. You want to take care of their to carry your stuff this gentleman here happens to be one of my one of my favorite customers actually he's a really really funny guy all right so we got that battery hooked up I'll go ahead and put this seat down so this propane for those of my blind viewers may not know or maybe some sighted people don't this machine runs on propane so mounted on the back of this is a propane tank very similar to what you would find on a barbecue grill, if you will. That's what runs this machine instead of gasoline. So, we will come over here and turn this valve on. Like so. And as you can see, you can get a shot of that gauge. My, my lovely assistant there. Yep. So people can kind of see what that looks like. climb aboard and see what's going to happen. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, hope you learned a little bit from this video. Um, follow my channel. We'll be putting a lot of these videos up. And have a good day.